Good morning, everyone. I'm Neil Clydeco. I'll be your presenter for today. Together with me, our project leader, Wada Mariko. Today, we'll be presenting our project entitled Improvement and Digitalization of Agri e commerce Farm to Table Infrastructure with our company name, Platform Technologies Incorporated. Our rationale. Agriculture sectors employs about 30% of the population, but only contributes only 12% of the GDP. For home smallholder farmers, farming becomes more of a, of a gamble due to the lack of data and direct link to the demand. Problem being solved. Mismatch supply and demand, example due to oversupply of crops, farmers end up selling at a very low price or even through the produce. Poor agri supply chain and efficient farming practices, our farmers cannot supply the demand and could not meet the standards, both local and global. Due to this unsustainable livelihood, leads to a decline of farmers and farmlands, leads to a food insecurity, for our country. Our potential users. All over the Philippines, around 2.9 million farmers, smallholder farmers. Specifically, here in Central Visayas, around 430,000 farmers in Bohol, Cebu, Negros, and Siquijor. In, with our, in our project, specifically here in Cebu, we are tar targeting around 149,000 farmers. With this project, we partnered three major cooperatives that has around 5,000 farmer members. Our project significance, having the right data and tools designed to bridge the gap between market and demand will be beneficial for our farmers to supply assured crops with quality, thus providing sustainable livelihood for the community. Right here in the picture, our farmer partner and founder Mr. Troy Bumagat was able to prove that if you, you have the right tools and data, you can supply both local and global, thus creating an inter enterprise, providing stable jobs for his community and also food for the, his community. Project description. The project will provide end-to-end farm-to-table infrastructure that will connect, collect, analyze to enable market and supply matching using agri e-commerce platform. Unfortunately, here in the Philippines, our data is not established. Without this infrastructure, we're not able to collect the data both from the consumer and the farmers. Thus, our company is aiming to provide this. Farm-to-table agri e-commerce model. Average groceries has this process from the farm to the middleman, to the warehouse, direct to the distribution centers, and then to the grocery stores to home. And this model is a broken model because the farmers can, don't know what is the demand. And also it, it has so many unfair trade practices leaving the farmers gain less profit while the third party or the middleman gets the more profit and also providing expensive produce to the community. With the green table and our infrastructure, we will provide good trade practices because we direct the supply from the farm to the warehouse to the home. So it cuts all middlemen. With this, with this program, and it is also data driven and market driven. Now the farmers can now get the get the demand and plan what are the clients are needing. Our potential impact, efficiency. Since the far, our farmers has the right data and the right demand, our farmers 
can earn more and they are more now inter enterprising. Their farmlands will be filled with crops that has already been guaranteed by, the, by our customers and clients. With these efficient farm practices, our kind of, this agri agriculture sector will provide, will increase the GDP contribution. With this also, with a steady demand and supply for our farmers, we can now supply both locally and globally following the set of standards. With this result, our country will be secure for food, ready accessible farm produce direct from our farmers. If you want to get in touch with us, you can contact our phone number, our email addresses, and you can get there our address. Thank you and have a great day.